But I do miss I do miss all the taco trucks on the side of the road. Some of them are really good. Some of them, yeah. Oh, there, there's this place on 67th and Thunderbird. If you live in the Valley of the Sun, and no, they're not paying me, and I'm not going to mention their name. I'm just telling you, 67th. <laughs> I don't even know they, they probably don't even have a name. Uh, actually, they do. <laughs> oh, they do, and it's uh, uh, the name of that city. For some reason, donkey shows come up. <laughs> Come to mind when you mention it. <laughs> Not that I would know or ever been to one of those things because that is just bad. 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 Pato doesn't do that kind of stuff. But what I'm saying is uh, those tacos right there, man, it's like they they just melt in your mouth. It's like they're, they're so good that before you know it, you, you ate 10 of them and you're like, what? It's leftover donkey. <laughs> leftover donkey, huh? What else are you going to do with it once it's done? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> what, that, that's nasty. That baby, is nasty. Baby, that's nasty, baby. <laughs> oh. All right. So, okay. that that As you can see, your friendly neighborhood foul-mouth podcasters uh, uh, have pretty have, – obviously have some fucking deep issues. <laughs> if there's any – Psych, psychologists or psychiatric people listening, fuck off. <laughs> like, quit analyzing me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge you. Be like, like a- I gotta, I gotta ask. If you were to walk in, let's say you're partying down there, right? You're just mm-hmm. partying down there with a group, big group of friends. Okay. And you walk into a bar, and that's going on. Do you leave or do you just respect the, the actors or the performers? Oh, I mean, would it be okay. considered rude to walk out? I mean, I, I think I'd be rude. I'd walk out. I, I probably I, would, I, I too. Don't think I, could. I don't think I could. Or would you be so I'm like, morbidly hey, curious? Like, morbid. What? Like, hey. what? It can't get any worse. Well, fuck it, did. Okay, no, but think, oh gosh, just respect for the uh, actor. So, how do you? Is that how you would explain if you got caught? Honey, I don't know, honey. I, I didn't stay there to watch the donkey show because I'm a perv. It was I, respect I, it was for rude the performers. To walk out in the middle of the show, I'm respecting the actors, the art. I did it for the art. I stayed and watched because I support. <laughs> you support fine art, right? Fine art, yeah. Okay, that that, that just don't go. Man, that's just wrong. <laughs> now, talking about issues, like I mean, going back I, to the dreams. I mean, what kind of issues would a person that would such an artist have in order to perform with a donkey? Uh, hey, there you are. You're back. Did you hear what I said? So yep. What kind of issues would a person that such an artist have in order to? Oh, in other words, what fucks up a girl so bad that she'd be like, "Oh fuck it, I'm gonna go suck donkey dick." Seriously? Did you disappear on me? Yeah, you did, motherfucker. There we go. I would okay. say, what would mess somebody up that much? <sighs> Drug addiction. Drug addiction. Yeah. It, it would have to be. I mean, come on, that that is just. That's why, like I said, I, now if I if we're with a group, if we were with a group of people and we walked into a place like that, I, I would be like, okay, fuck it, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I would have to drop it in the fucking bucket and move on. I'd be like, no, nah, fuck you guys. I'm like, I, that, that's I not can't, my. I couldn't do it. No, nope. because you know, nope. you know me. My 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 biggest downfall is I would see some shit like that and immediately be like feeling bad for the girl. Like, I would just immediately well, start saying. start no, feeling I mean, bad for her. It is. I mean, I can, that's why, <clears throat> like I said, we talk a lot of shit here, but when it's all said and done, I mean, you know, we are big, we're, we're big on I've worked too sides, many. I guess. I've worked too many sexual assault cases to, to know. And the it, fact that when we became fathers to daughters, we, right. we view the world in a different way. Uh, perspective with a different we, we we see the world with different eyes once you have a daughter unless you're like really fucked that you just don't give a shit you know 
I mean, yeah. when, you have a, when you're a father to a daughter, you see the world in a very different light. And it, it's just the way it is. Yeah, everything changes at that point. Everything. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, but you, if, still if can, all you got his voice, you, you probably can't understand what I'm talking about. Some of the shit can still be funny, though. Well, it, it can be funny, but like I said, like right now, we're just, we're poking fun. But then, then we, we take it on the serious tip. But Right. Oh, yeah. right. So, okay. So now, like I said, we were saying now, you you know what uh, another what makes little thing tick. makes us tick, you know. Um it's part of uh, where get to know your friendly neighborhood fa- neighborhood foul mouth podcasters. That's right. Yeah, you know. Because I'm not I'm not foul mouth, but I know somebody who is. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> I don't fucking cuss because that's just wrong. But that fucking K dog shit. Yeah, I, I, I word. There's no there's no denying that I curse too much. Yeah. I have sailors I mean, are coming up to me telling me, man, you curse a lot. Hmm. That it, you know, well, you have sailors coming up to you and telling you the language. <laughs> you know, language, like, dude. <laughs> dude. Language. <laughs> That's it. Put a, yeah. put a dollar in the jar. <laughs> yeah. Go fuck yourself and your dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So, uh, we were talking about going to see a movie tomorrow. Okay. Have you seen the trailer for Knives Out? I can't decide if I want to see that movie or not. No, I just saw the poster outside the movie theater. It's got a lot of big names in it. Yes. But I don't know if it's enough to make me want to go see it. Like, Yes. I saw <laughs> that and I saw the trailer for an Adam Sandler movie. That's. Oh, God. I can't think of the name now. I like Adam Sandler. I hope he come, makes a comeback into actual theater, like an actual movie, and not just Netflix. I don't know. I see Netflix as the way of the future. I mean, uh, and I True mean, that. some of those were very goofy movies. I mean, but yeah. Hey, talking about coming back, did you hear Eddie Murphy is going to be doing stand up again? He's t- well. Why not? I'm all for it. Fuck it, dude. I, I I can't wait. I hope I hope and pray he comes back to stand up. He's he's one of my idols growing up. Let's face it, Eddie Murphy is the reason why a lot of people got into comedy in the first place. I he's always going to be one Eddie of my Murphy heroes. Yep. Eddie Murphy he he made stand up comedy look cool, and I guess yep. Richard Pryor before him. But yep, uh, there's a, there's a few comedians that I look up like I when I was growing up I really really legitimately looked up to Eddie Murphy's one of them Andrew Dice Clay is another one Whoa. and yep yep Andrew, Andrew Dice, Dice Clay. Clay yep and who else uh, Sam Kinison Sam Kinison wow that guy was always screaming yep. And but you know then again he was he was he was former former what you disappeared right when he you said call him over. he said fuck it ah fuck me running sideways yeah you, uh, you you went away exactly when you said he was former yeah he was he was actually like going to school for being a minister or some shit like that a pastor a father I don't know some kind of shit like that. Yeah, he and decided to become a comedian instead. Well, you know, uh, that that's another thing with some of these uh, churches. A lot of times the preachers, uh, that's what they try to be up there. Some yeah. of them do, especially some of these mega churches. Yeah, they become like a, it's, a, it's a big act. Uh, hey, you know what? That kind of got – that reminded me. I was reading another article um, on – I think – was it Yahoo? It might have been Yahoo. I don't know. Anyways, they were talking about Joel Olstein, you know, the big mega preacher. Yeah. Uh, is teaming up to do a, some kind of a preaching thing with Kanye West. And that's the reason why organized religion is something that I can not stand. <laughs> what the motherfucking fuck? Yep. With I'm Kanye sorry. West. I said, okay. Um, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. My daughter says that he has now, a I church say or some he's shit. A gold digger. 
<laughs> Something. I, I don't know. Look, All I'm I not know gonna is... hate on them, uh, but quite honestly, uh, it's not my cup of tea. The whole Christian Kanye West thing, I mean, you know, if it's legitimate and he's really doing it because it's something that God put in his heart, you know, more power to him. I'm not going to sit here and throw rocks at him. But there's just something about it that just makes me kind of like that dream that I keep having. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. I mean, at one moment, I'm like, at one moment, it sounds like it's literally like 100% legit. And then the next moment, it sounds like, He's just you know, for the money. Right. Because maybe he's tapped out in the regular scene. Yeah, maybe. So I don't know. Get, or maybe he figures, okay, well, I'm not running 2020, but maybe 2024, you know. He, he said that there was a, I don't know, rumor has, I don't know how legitimate it is, but there, it, the, the article was saying that he's wanting, talking about running in like 2026 or 28, something shit like that. Isn't it 2024? Wouldn't it be 2024? Yeah, 20, something like that. 24, 28, he oh, was talking about running. You know what? I'm sick of all them motherfuckers. I'm running. It's a vote for Pato. Fuck that shit. Hey, fuck it. I'll vote for you. Vote for Pato. <laughs> What is this? Okay, that's it. We're going to make shirts like Napoleon Dynamite, but instead of vote for Pedro, <laughs> vote for Pato. Vote for Pato. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then in other news, I guess it's a total of like six Democratic presidential nominees or candidates or hopefuls or whatever you want to call them yeah. have dropped out of the running. Hmm. Kamala yeah. Harris being the last, the last one to have dropped out. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. The, our political system right now is fucked up. I mean, well, the capital we're, we're, fucked up. We're the up. laughing stock of the world. Have you seen <laughs> what's going on right now? I guess some world leaders were cracking jokes about, well, expected, totally expected. I mean, this, listen, I don't think it, it, it is what it, it is, man. Our country is so fucked up right now, and. It, uh, it, it's only yeah. getting more fucked up. I don't think I don't see a way out of this anytime soon. Yeah, well. Yeah, what can I say? In Though, the words of Frito in the words of Frito Pendejo, I like money. <laughs> Go away, Satan. I, I will say this. I do so far like what this Tulsi Gabbard lady is saying. Uh I don't know. I don't know. Joe Rogan had her had her on his podcast twice now. Hmm. So that kind of makes me wonder if, if Joe Rogan had her on twice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so, uh, Joe Rogan. Hmm. Hey, I love Joe Rogan. Come on now. No, I don't. I'm not hating on Joe Rogan. I mean, I just uh, I I, I want to know. I I think that motherfucker's a time traveler. And not I don't know. He, he, no, he hasn't predicted anything, but I think he has a way to warp time because. I keep getting notifications that another podcast by Joe Rogan, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? How? Where, where does he find the time to do all the shit he's doing and still sit down and, and record? What the? Well, how the fuck? And his shit do? is. And I mean, we do what forty five minutes, maybe an hour, and his podcasts are like three hours long. You did. Yep. You it's like three right? hours. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, the, 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 does he have like a time warping machine where he he can just extend his day and whatever? Like, oh, I don't know. Of course, I, he's making one. sixty grand. A, he's making sixty grand an episode. Wow. Uh, I, well, I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I make a whole lot of time for that. I uh, I feel sorry for him. I don't know how he makes ends meet. You know. Uh, uh, <laughs> We, uh, should, we should start up a GoFundMe page for him. <laughs> oh, God. I would. Love, I don't know. I, I like. I like the way he interviews people. No, he does. But like, I mean, not, not in a traditionary. Sometimes. You keep disappearing now. It's like doing it with a I'm vengeance. Sorry. It's doing it with a vengeance now. So, oh. let, let's look into that other that other system. That way, right. uh, maybe this will it, find out if it's really Skypey or maybe if it's the laptop or I don't know. Okay. Yeah, In the meantime, we'll I guess we're, we're 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 about an hour, and uh, Pato's got to work, and I'm gonna go check on Day Guard because okay. So uh, by the way, uh, if you I don't know if we uh, we're gonna make that crossover happen as soon as K Dog uh, watches Terminator Dark Fate. Yeah, we gotta make that happen. I want to do that. Make, 
we're gonna make that happen where uh you're gonna 